The Oro Provincial Land Board is made up of the chairman, deputy chairman and two board members. The official swearing-in ceremony was witnessed by Lands Minister John Rosso and Oro Governor Gary Jufa. The establishment of the Provincial Land Board now paves way for land allocation processes to be done in the province. Actually swear in the Oro Provincial Lands Board and to delegate the powers of the National Lands Board to the Oro Provincial, uh, Provincial uh, Lands Board so that they can perform some of the powers of the uh, National Lands Board. Land in Oro is mostly used for agriculture purposes, with most land owned by oil palm project developers. After many years of a non-existent provincial land board, this is the first provincial land board to be established. With the board now in place, they are expected to look at outstanding backlog applications from previous years. It also paves way for interested applicants to submit their applicants for state land developments. The provincial land board supports the government's agenda to encourage proper and controlled land use in provinces. Shake that tag and make it more transparent, make it more better. And that is part of the reason why we de delegate these responsibilities to the provinces so that they can be able to administer those issues themselves. Speaking to the board members, the Lens Minister challenged them to be honest, transparent, committed and to avoid conflict of interests. He says decisions must be made on professional judgments and advice without fear or favour. He further encouraged the provincial government to render full support to the newly established board. And as members of the Lands Board, you will now be sitting there in a position that gives uh, land to people and you have to make decisions that is for the benefit of the people and sometimes you have to make decisions that have to be very very uh, neutral even though it might sometimes go against your own family members or something or something. Rayon Lakingu National, MTV News.